Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my another new video. Today I'll discuss about bus structure. So a system bus consists typically a system bus consists typically of form about 50 to hundreds of separate lines about 50 to hundreds of separate lines each line is assigned a particular meaning is assigned a particular meaning or function Although there are many different bus design, although there are many different bus design, on any bus the lines can be classified on any bus the lines can be classified into three functional groups into three functional groups data addresses and control lines and control lines in addition in addition there may be power may be power distribution lines that supply power power distribution lines that supply power to the attached modules to the attached modules the data lines provide a path for moving data among system modules provide a path for moving data for moving data among system modules among system modules these lines these lines collectively are called the data bus collectively 
are called the data bus the data bus may consist of 32 64 128 or 32 64 128 or even more separate lines even more separate lines the number of lines being referred the number of lines being referred to as the white of the to as the white of the data bus because each line can carry only because each line can carry only one bit at a time at a time the number of lines determines the number of lines determines how many bits can be transferred how many bits can be transferred at a time at a time the white of the data bus the white of the data bus is a key factor in determining is a key factor in determining in determining overall system performance overall system performance for example For example, if the data bus is 32 bits, if the data bus is 32 bits, wide and each instruction, wide and each instruction. is 64 bits is 64 bits long then the processor must access 
the processor must access the memory module to which the memory module to which during each instruction cycle during each instruction cycle the address lines are used to designable the address lines used are used to design it the source or destination of the data source or destination of the data on the data bus on the data bus for example for example if the processor wishes to read a word if the processor wishes to read a word a word of data from memory data from memory it puts it puts the address of the desired word the address of the desired words on the address lines on the address lines clearly the width of the address bus clearly the width of the address bus determines the maximum possible memory determines the maximum possible memory capacity of the system memory capacity of the system furthermore furthermore the address lines the address lines are generally also used are generally also use to address io ports used to address 
iopods thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for new video updates